Hello, and thanks for joining us today. Before I get started, I wanted to take a minute and explain who I am and why do I deserve the privilege of talking to you today. So my name is Emily Kanata. I'm a business coach and consultant. And over the past decade, I've worked with hundreds of pharmacies across the country in a coaching, training, and team development role. So I'm really happy to be here today, and I want to thank RMS for, first of all, putting on the CLIMB series. I think this is such a gift to the industry, so thank you for, for putting this on in the first place, and of course for inviting me to have a speaking engagement with you today. Uh, what am I going to talk about? Today we're going to talk about your most valuable asset, your employees. So after this past year, I know RMS reached out to me and they wanted to recognize the heroic pharmacy teams that have literally carried this nation through this crisis in the year 2020. It's been a crazy year for, for everyone. Um, the topic is employee wellness and how to care for your pharmacy team so that that will create a better pharmacy business. Uh, you really want healthy employees. Right? You want a physically, emotionally, and mentally healthy employee. That is good for business, bottom line. Um, and this has uh, been a really rough year for everyone. Like I said before, it's put everyone through the ringer. Um, what I did over the past uh, few weeks since I was asked to do this was reach out to pharmacy owners that I have relationships with, and that is what I'm going to share with you today. So I'm a data nerd, a research nerd, and I did some digging, and I've come up with um, the things that I'm going to talk to you about today. So employee wellness, really it covers all five of the tenants of CLIMB. So care. The more you care for your team, the more they're going to care for your patients. That's awesome. Um, also, we can consider leadership right? Showing up for your team during this crazy crisis and this pandemic has probably stretched a lot of you beyond what you thought you could do as leaders. <laughs> um, I know managing your own anxiety is one piece of it, um, that of your families, and then you have to put on your leadership hat, come into your pharmacies and help manage and lead your team, who in fact and in turn is going to be doing all of that for the community. I mean, that is a lot. That is a Herculean effort. So definitely leadership shows up in how you are taking care of your employees and looking out for their wellness. Um, innovate. That's a, I mean, we literally innovated the way that we live our lives, period. Um, motivate. This one is really, I think that this is a, has been a really huge impact because you're able to share with your team how much they're making an impact in their communities that you're serving. Um, being able to curate and really protect the culture that you're creating in your pharmacy is a huge motivator for your teams and really giving them a purpose. And what, what is their why? Why are they showing up every day? That's a huge part of helping them with wellness um, as well. And last but certainly not least, balance. I've heard consistently that teams are burning out, individuals are burning out. Um, so ensuring that your team really rests and recharges, um, otherwise they are going to burn out. And, and then that's not going to do anybody any good, including your community, who they serve. Um, and plus, in terms of balance, you know, there's always an opportunity for a little fun. So that's what we really wanted to uh, focus on today. Are, um, you know, I'm not going to PowerPoint you to death in, in this discussion. I'm really just going to talk to you today, but I will provide a handout. So there's going to be key points that you'll get. Please take notes. A lot of adults learn that way by taking notes. So feel free to take notes on, on what I'm going to talk with you today about. Um, but don't feel like you have to. I will be providing you with a handout after. And um, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, there's only one rule for you to follow. It's very simple. You need to get creative on actionable and fun ideas. That's all you have to do, is get creative. So talking with pharmacies over the past couple of weeks, you know, a few buckets of information, you know, as I'm talking with them, I was able to create buckets, so some common themes. And I'll share with you those common themes overarching, and then I'll dig into them. And then we'll be done. So bucket number one that came across literally everyone that I spoke with is communication, flexibility, food, exercise, personal care, 
rewards and recognition, and providing resources. Alrighty, so creative ways to support your team's physical, mental, and emotional health. Communication, number one, do it more than you think you need to. This was uh, something that everyone that I spoke to mentioned um, was how important it is to communicate at a very high level. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, some of the feedback that I received was to really be vulnerable and authentic to your teams. And, and I'm talking about describing your own challenges and frustrations with what's going on. Uh, be a human. <laughs> One of the pharmacy owners I spoke with actually shared with her team she was getting therapy, and she encouraged the team to also get therapy. There's no shame in that. Um, if you aren't having meetings, you have to start having meetings. <laughs> period. There's no excuse anymore because you can have meetings in person or you can have them virtually. So there's no, oh, I can't find the time. None of my team is available at the same time. That doesn't matter anymore because you can also add those folks that can't be in person. They can be added in virtually. So no excuse. You're going to have to do meetings. <laughs> Daily huddles are the best, right? We're talking three to 10 minutes, really quick, short, sweet in the beginning and possibly at the end of the day, or one or the other, um, and then encouraging monthly team meetings at least as well. So these are really valuable times for you and um, can really help change the path of your employees' wellness, just communicating with them. Um, another great idea that I heard and I definitely want to share with you is having an open door policy but not open door 24 seven, open door with specific times. So from 10 to 12 on Tuesdays and Thursdays is your open door policy that they can schedule times to come in and talk with you. Okay, so having boundaries around your open door policy, I think that's brilliant. Um, and also I've heard that you can actually take the team to lunch or an employee to lunch or, or a coffee to get them out of the pharmacy in case there needs to be some privacy around your conversation. And um, another idea that was shared with me is if you have a ton of employees, it might be hard to do that uh, consistently with every single employee every single month, but you could do birthdays, you know, and make one-on-one -on -one time with the team. Most importantly, whatever you're doing in terms of meetings is scheduling it out. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. It'll be three months down the road and you're going to be like, shoot, I meant to have those meetings and you didn't. So put it on the calendar. No excuses. Next on communication is start a mindfulness practice. Yes, I said it. <laughs> 30 seconds. And it can be, you know, go to your happy place for 30 seconds. We're going to have a minute of quiet time. Whatever that looks like for your team, I have heard that it really does change the demeanor of the pharmacy. Give it a shot. It can't hurt. It's 30 seconds to a minute, right? Um, so starting a mindfulness practice during your team lineup in the beginning of the day. Also, um, I heard some great insights around being the best place to work in town because apparently it's hard to find employees. So the employees that you have are getting worn out. So one way is attract the employees that are out there looking for jobs to your pharmacy because you're the best place in town to work and let that be known in the community. Um, another really cool idea that I hope some of you will take away and implement is creating a buddy system so that it's not just you as the pharmacy owner or the pharmacy leader. You actually have uh, like a network within your pharmacy of people that are checking in with each other. And that really helps to build your culture as well and create a very supportive culture. So um, the buddy system would allow check-ins to ensure some employee mental and emotional health. <laughs> Um, so communication bucket, huge, probably the most important piece of what we're talking about today. Switch on down to flexibility. And honestly, you bend as much as you can. I get it. It's hard to, you know, fill positions and it's hard to be flexible and be able to meet everyone's needs, but just be open about that and work with each individual on your team to try and find the best solution. Sometimes there's not going to be a solution and I understand that, um, but give everyone the time and the space to talk about it and see what can be worked out. One of my uh, pharmacy professionals that I spoke to was able to create a virtual workflow so that her employee could actually work from home and still be able to take care of the kids. Um, so it was kind of remote work. 
if there's opportunity for remote work, let that happen. Um, and also changing up schedules, being flexible with changing up the schedules. Um, that was also a big part of the flexibility bucket. Okay, food. It is always the answer, <laughs> I promise you. Um, providing healthy snacks at work instead of just junk food, you know, throw out the donuts, but maybe provide some things like fruit and nuts and protein bars and peanut butter filled pretzels and healthy drinks, snacks that are going to really rejuvenate your team. And I know having an amazing coffee is great and that's something that you need at least for part of the day, but just be a little cautious of allowing uh, too much caffeine in the afternoon because that can really disrupt some people's sleep. So kind of discourage the afternoon late in the day caffeine consumption. Um, providing meals for the team. I'm sure you all currently are doing that in some format, but really being structured around it. So, but making it easy, right? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, it doesn't matter what the meal is, as easy as possible. So for your morning lineup meetings, bring in coffee and bagels, or, you know, maybe on Friday for lunch, you're going to do pizza and salad, you know, something really easy, but food makes the world go round in the office setting. So, the more the merrier when it comes to food was the message I heard from across the entire country. Alrighty, we're moving on to exercise. The goal is to have the team work out daily. And these can be small things. There's Again, there's no excuse anymore because there is a YouTube opportunity for anything. Squats, sit-ups, yoga, whatever you want to do. Um, really help your team and encourage them to do some sort of exercise on a daily basis. It really will help to improve their wellness overall. Um, some really fun ideas that I heard were creating workout challenges. Um, there are some apps that can help you with that. I know my husband and I have done challenges with each other that are, it's on map my run and you can do like farthest distance or most number of workouts in a month or, you know, things like that. Um, I've also heard of step bet is an app that you can use where everybody puts a little bit of money in and then whoever uh, wins, they, you know, gets a certain amount of the pot. You know what I mean? So that's a, a possibility. You don't have to even use an app or there's probably a million other apps that you could utilize. Um, you could just ask your team to give you individual goals of working out for the month and then, um, you know, track it or be an accountability partner or their, their buddy for their buddy system can be their accountability partner, right? And then um, make sure that they're, you know, creating that uh, accountability system for each other. And then, you know, post on the whiteboard who achieved their personal workout goal. That's hugely impactful for your team's wellness. Um, definitely don't underrate the workout challenge or just being an accountability partner in some way, shape or form. The other really cool thing I heard that I'm like, why didn't I do that? You know, why didn't I come up with this? But giving stretch breaks for your team, like truly five to 10 minute stretch breaks where they raise their arms above their head. They bend forward, try and touch the floor, you know, just moving your body. Definitely encourage stretch breaks and you can call them whatever you want. But I think stretch breaks is a cool term for them. Um, another idea is outreach to the community and partnering with the community where you're trying to find maybe a local yoga studio or personal trainer and maybe they can work out a deal with your employees or maybe they come in and teach a class for your employees, etc. So you get the picture. But exercise is hugely impactful for overall employee wellness, physical, emotional, and mentally. <laughs> it helps on all those fronts as well as food. Don't forget the food. All righty, moving right along here. We've got personal care. Truly don't neglect yourself. I've heard this time and time again how um, the pharmacy owners that I talked to really wanted to do more to help their employees take care of themselves. So some ideas that I thought were fun. Um, take home a massage therapist. So one of the folks that I talked to, they actually bought a Theragun, which is like a a pressure massager and they rotated the employees taking that home for a week at a time and they thoroughly cleaned it you know it's just touching your back and um, that was a really fun idea that everybody um, they they were 
working on different challenges to be able to take home uh, the Theragun and their massage therapist, they called it. You could also ask for a massage therapist to actually come into the pharmacy and provide chair massage for your team if they would be interested in that, maybe once a month. Um, or you could even provide a gift certificate and send them to a spa. You could do that for every single person on your team. If they are working their butts off and you feel that they all deserve it and they would enjoy that, by all means, right? Take care of them. Um, some other ideas were a take-home facial by providing like their products to do a facial and give them a gift bag that they can take home if they're really not comfortable going to a spa. Um, or if they are comfortable going to a spa, give them a gift certificate to go to a spa. And same thing with nails. So all of these are, you know, flexible options that you can really ensure your team is taking care of themselves. It's just a nice extra touch that um, you can provide for your team. Rewards and recognition is the next bucket. And this is how you're going to keep your employees. This is how you're going to be the best place to work. You know, um, I'll share with you some things that I heard um, that were helpful in terms of rewards and recognition. So number one, pay and bonuses. I heard that um, some of the people that I spoke to gave raises. And some, one of the pharmacy owners, she literally had to force her team to take their paid vacation time. They <laughs> were getting burnt out and um, she forced them to take paid time off. So consider that as well. Also under rewards in the recognition bucket, be intentional, or sorry, be intentional about recognizing your team and get really specific. So, you know, Sharon, I saw how well you took care of Mr. Smith. You explained his medicine. You suggested a probiotic. I thought that was amazing. You did a really good job and you kept the line moving along because there was, you know, several people online that day, I remember. So great job. You do an excellent, um, an excellent job of taking care of our customers. And I really appreciate that. So something really, really specific goes so much further than you guys did a great job this past week. Well done. You know, like see the difference of how much that makes an impact when it's like really, truly specific to what they saw you do. And I guarantee you, whatever you specifically tell them will made an impact for you. You're going to see that behavior happen again and again. So be intentional about recognizing your team. Show appreciation often. Do it at team meetings so that the team knows what you're looking for and what you appreciate. And then those behaviors are going to come back to you tenfold from the team. Um, another awesome idea is to have either the leader or yourself or, you know, anybody on the team actually make a video and send it to the employee. So how impactful would that be if, you know, you were home, you got a, a video uh, chat from your boss or the owner of the pharmacy thanking you specifically for a job well done. And you get to show that to your kids and your spouse. I mean, that makes a huge impact and it's not that hard to do. Okay, so specific recognition, thanking them sincerely. Um, and the other idea that is huge and impactful is having the folks on your team recognize each other. It doesn't have to just be you recognizing everyone. Let them recognize each other in your team meetings. Like, has anybody seen anyone do anything spectacular this past week? Or who went above and beyond? You know, I can't be there for everything, so I want to hear from you guys. Be on the lookout, BOLO, right? I want to know what's going on in the pharmacy, and I want to know who's doing what. That's exceptional. I want to start recognizing those people. Okay, so having your team recognize each other is another huge part of, of what you can do for employee wellness. Last but certainly not least is providing resources. So if you provide benefits to your employees, check what is covered in terms of mental health resources, because sometimes there are mental health opportunities that are completely covered by the insurance that you're offering. Let them know that. Um, if not, make a list of mental health professionals, psychiatrists, counselors, um, you know, suicide prevention, um, meditation, yoga classes, et cetera, uh, where you're really making it easy for your team. I'm going to provide you with the CDC link. There are tons of hotlines and emotional health and, and mental health 
uh, support hotlines. So that way it's going to make that piece of it a little bit easy for you. And last but definitely not least is, you know, one of the pharmacies that I talked to, they actually brought in a counselor and had them uh, talk to the team as a group and then did some one-on-one -on -one sessions as well. So that could be an opportunity that you provide for your team as well, um, especially if you don't provide insurance benefits. Um, that could be something you kind of cover the cost and, and help them. And that is all I have today. I know that was a lot of information and I flew through it. Not to worry, we're going to provide you with all the key points of what I shared with you today. And I hope that you uh, are able to take at least one of the things that your fellow colleagues from across the country have shared with me and I am now sharing with you. Um, have a great day. Thank you very much.